This is the Steph we all know and love, back home, smiling and on the verge of a sixth world title. This is literally the most exciting world tour, world title race that I've ever been in in my career. But it hasn't been an easy road to this point. A new film called Stephanie in the Water shows a side of Steph very few have seen. He was just like sprinting at me with like this, like a crowbar in his hand. Production began in the midst of her fourth straight world title. They were still shooting the film when Steph was violently attacked at her home in 2010. It was crazy. I mean, yeah, you couldn't have even scripted something like that to happen, but um, it did. And, and then to capture the emotion, the raw emotion of myself talking about it on film um, was pretty intense. Steph breaks down in the film as she intimately shares details of the assault and the traumatic effects it had on her. He basically just like knocked that happiness out of me. So revealing, Steph herself finds that part of the film difficult to sit through. To be honest, I don't like to watch it. Like I watched it a couple times and then that's it. I like to I pretty much leave the room. It documents the loss of her world title and rise to the top again. Well, there are many more chapters still to come in Steph Gilmore's story and one will be written just next month with world title race set to be decided at Honolulu Bay. Windsor, Trestles and Portugal have lifted Steph back up to world number one and in a three-way Aussie battle for the crown with Tyler Wright and Sally Fitzgibbons. I love Honolulu Bay. It's very special to me because I, I won my first world title in 2007. It's great. I love it. It, it gets me really excited about what I'm doing and, and chasing world titles and I can't wait to see what happens in Hawaii. Sam Squires, Nine News.